Today's lesson is writing expressions and equations. Our goal is that we can translate a verbal phrase into a mathematical expression or equation. All right, we've got keywords that we use um, that indicate different types of operations in expressions and equations. So we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I believe your notes have a table like this written at the top and you're going to fill them in. Now, I'm going to read through the list by column. You need to pause it to write it, okay? You guys wouldn't want me to take the time to pause to go that slow. So for addition, we have plus, the sum of, increased by, total, more than, and added to. Again, you're pausing as you need to to get this done. If you have questions, put a question mark in the margin so that you can ask me when you see me. Subtraction, minus, the difference of, decreased by, fewer than, less than, subtracted from. Multiplication, times, the product of, multiplied by, of, twice. Twice, of course, would be two times. Um, division, we've got divided by, the quotient of, separated into equal parts. There, of course, could be other ones out there. These are just common ones that came to mind when we were putting this lesson together. All right, so keep this handy because this one's a good piece of notes to have handy when you're translating. All right, so our first one, we have a number increased by five. So a number we're going to use, you can use whatever variable you want. When I use an X, I usually make a cursive X so it doesn't look like a time sign. Increased by plus five. Seven less than a number. So you've got the number is being subtract, has the numbers, uh, has the number of seven being subtracted from it. Okay. Three more than twice a number. So twice the number would be two times your variable, and then three more than that. And finally, we have four decreased by the quotient of a number and seven. So when you've got this and, it goes in the order that it's listed, the quotient of a number and seven. So let's see, we'll go with X again because I've run out of variables. I'm not very creative. A number and seven, and then it's being decreased, four is decreased by that. So the four actually comes first. Four decreased by the quotient of a number and seven. Okay? All right. Write and solve the following equations. Not sure what I hit. All right. A number increased by 5 is 9. So a number increased by 5 is 9. Well, what number plus 5 equals 9? Mentally, I hope you get that n is equal to 4. 7 less than a number is 21. So your number has 7 taken away from it, and it's equal to 21. So the number's got to be bigger than 21. So if you take 7 and add it to the 21, you get that P is 28. All right, I better be quick. I only got five minutes. <laughs> All right. Twice the number is 32. Uh, let's change colors just for fun. Twice a number is 32. Well, what number times 2 is 32? N is 16. A number separated into six equal parts is 5. So we have our number, the B. Hopefully it looks like that. Um, separated into the six equal parts is equal to five. Well, hopefully you guys know that when you divide 30 by six, you get five. 
All right. Okay, and this last one, you guys have this. Hopefully, I know, I know that's not going to be in the same order. You've got all of these, like the sum of a number and two. The sum of a number and two. So you would have at sum is adding, right? So x plus two. Now, I'm not going to drag all these over, but you guys get the idea. You guys are going to have to draw lines to drag them over, but you guys, I'm just going to hit solve so you guys can match them up. You guys need to pause it first, okay? So pause it, check, drag your, draw your lines to match them up, and then come back and check it. All right, that's it. If you have questions, please write them down, and we'll talk about them next time I see you. Hope you enjoyed our lesson. See you next time.